recording. So by popular demand, I'm making an update video to my Super Turbo 1000 Lithium. So if you take a look at the GPS unit, uh, there is about 2,200 miles on this scooter as of right now. But that number is actually closer to 2,500 miles because I've only log started logging my mileage after about the first month of riding. So I feel this is a pretty appropriate time to give you guys feedback on my experience with this scooter. So first, I really like the scooter for its compact size. It's really small, it's really easy to mount and dismount. You can uh, remove the seat, post, and fold it up. I mean, the battery's in the way, but once you have it folded up, you can just carry it and toss it in the back of your trunk, transport it to the desert, have some off-roading fun. You can ride it onto a tennis court, basketball court. You don't have to worry about finding parking. You can pretty much set this anywhere. And uh, it's pretty durable. It's got some minor flaws, but overall, structurally, it's really good. 
Um, and it's deceptively fast. I've gotten this thing to go over 40 miles an hour down a steep hill uh, on flat pavement. It'll do 30 plus miles per hour. Another positive aspect of this scooter is its suspension system. It's got a front mono shock, which is pretty good. And then it's got the rear uh, dual spring shocks. These are just conventional spring shocks, but they're actually pretty uh, comfortable. They're, they're more comfortable than some of the uh, hydraulic and air powered um, counterparts. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of uh, its suspension. So yeah, it's, it's pretty bouncy. It's good for uh, going over those speed bumps and potholes. So I'm really impressed with the brakes on this scooter. You come over here, you can see that these are mechanically actuated rotor clamp brakes. They're pretty simple, yet extremely effective. Uh, allow me to uh, demonstrate here. Alright, uh, more than nữa nha. Okay, so it doesn't stop on a dime, but for something this light, it's ample stopping power. So I'm pretty satisfied with the tires. These pictures illustrate the durability of the tires. Even after 2,500 miles of intensive riding, I have yet to replace them. Surprisingly, the front tire suffered almost no tread wear, so all I had to do was a quick rotation. Alright, so this is the lithium iron phosphate battery that I removed from the the scooter, it has um, specs of 12 amp hour and 48 volts. And according to Chris's website, it's it's able to charge cycle 1,000 times. But from my experience, at least just from, from this one particular battery, I've only got about 300 charge cycles out of it based on the mileage that I have on my scooter. So I charged it about every eight miles and so I got about 2500 miles on it that works out to about 300 charge cycles so it's a little disappointing but 300 times is still more than uh, what you can expect from most batteries so these pictures illustrate an area of the scooter that needs improvement I had to spend about forty dollars to get gusset reinforcements welded on both sides however most scooter owners will probably never experience this ordeal because I really punish this thing over speed bumps and off-road jumps. But nevertheless, it should have withstood those conditions. Another component of the scooter I feel needs improvement is the motor slash wheel. So the following clips are examples of what noise level can be expected with various motor wheel combinations. If you paid attention, you would have noticed that the hub motor is the least noisy. Hub motors also eliminate the complications of sprockets and chains. And since it's brushless, it should last many times as long as a traditional brush motor. So if I were making this scooter, I would have sourced this hub motor from ConusMotor.com. So in summary, here are the pros. Longevity. 2,500 miles and still running. 
I know some full-fledged motorcycles that don't have this kind of mileage. Compact size. It is easy to transport, capable of riding on narrow pathways, easy to park. Hell, I just take it inside the office building where I work. No gas required. This thing runs on 100% electricity. No dirty greasy oil changes, no gas station stops, no smelly hands from servicing engine. No registration or license required. Definitely check with your local law enforcement sources, but I ride this thing in California and have not been pulled over yet. Knock on wood. Long tire life, low maintenance, powerful braking system, comfortable suspension system, excellent range. When I first started riding this scooter, it lasted well over 12 miles per full charge. Exceptional speed, contains 1000 watts of power and capable of propelling this scooter to about 30 miles per hour on flat paved road. Affordable at $1000. Alright, most people are scratching their heads. How can $1,000 be a bargain? Trust me, this is the least expensive scooter for this kind of quality and performance. Excellent customer service. Just call this guy Chris at 843-997-7902 and you know what I mean. And finally, it's way cool to ride. Obviously, I get the occasional, get out the you queer but the overwhelming majority of folks adore this thing okay now to the cons motor is loud and not brushless battery did not last as advertised suspension arm failure but that was cheap and simple to fix so in conclusion I give the scooter a B plus